Right, so question four, dy dx equals 5x to the power of negative one half plus x root x, where x must be greater than zero. Given that y equals 35, when x is equal to four, find y in terms of x giving each term in its simplest form. Right, so we've got the derivative or the gradient function, and we're asked to find y in terms of x. So we got to undo this. In other words, we're going to have to integrate. So the first thing I'm going to do in question four here is I'm going to write dy dx. I'm going to write it in index form. So dy dx is going to equal five times x to the power of negative a half. That guy is fine. Plus x times, I'll just do it like this, x times, and the square root of x is actually x to the power of a half. And when I do x times x to the power of a half, that's like a power of 1, and 1 plus a half is 1 and a half. In other words, it's going to be x to the power of 3 over 2, like so. Right, so that's the gradient function, and we need to work backwards. So I'm going to integrate, I'm going to integrate this function here with respect to x. The integral of 5x to the negative 1 half plus x to the power of 3 over 2. And we're integrating with respect to x, so I'm going to include that dx. Okay, now that's going to equal... Now, remember what we do here. We increase the power by 1. Increase the power by 1, so minus a half becomes positive a half. And I'm going to multiply by 1 over that number. So it's going to be 5 multiplied by 1 over a half, 1 over a half. Right? 1 divided by a half is actually 2. Okay, So it's 5 multiplied by 2x to the power of a half. Plus, similar thing here, increase the power by 1. So 3 over 2 becomes 5 over 2. And then I'm going to multiply that by 1 over that power. So 1 over 5 over 2 is actually the same as just 2 over 5. So multiply by 2 over 5. Right, and don't forget... It's an indefinite integral. Got to have that constant c. All right, so that's going to equal. And just tidy up one more time. Um, y equals uh, 5 times 2 is going to be 10x to the power of a half plus 2 over 5, x to the power of 5 over 2 plus c. All right, now, we've got the uh, function, but we still have this constant c, the constant of integration, and we're going to use these facts here to work out that constant. So, y equals 35 when x is 4. So, we're going to substitute in here. So, we can say y is going to be 35 when x is equal to 4. So, substitute x in. 4 to the power of a half plus 2 over 5 times 4 to the power of 5 over 2, plus that c. Now don't worry about anything else for now except kind of tidying this bit up in here. Four, <coughs> excuse me. 4 to the power of a half is 2, and 10 times 2 is 20. Um, 4 to the power of 5 over 2, right, well... That's the same as 4 to the power of a half, all to the power of 5. So just in case you're wondering what I'm about to do here, 4 to the power of 5 over 2 is actually the same as 4 to the power of a half, all to the power of 5. Now, 4 to the power of a half is 2. And 2 to the power of 5, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. Wonderful. So I've got to do two-fifths of 32. Well, 2 times 32 is 64. 
So we're going to get 64 over 5. Plus that C. Which means that, and let's do a little bit of tidying up here. Um, well, that's going to be the same as a um, 100 over 5, which just gives us 164 over 5. And that's not really going to help us. Um, or it's a little bit long. Let me see. 64 divided by 5 is 12 and 4 fifths. Okay, it's a little bit easier to manage. Going to equal 35, which means uh, 20 and 32, or 20 and 12 is 32 and 4 fifths. So 32 and 4 fifths. Take that away from 35 is going to give us uh, 2 and 1 fifth. 2 and 1 fifth is going to be equal to C. Or 11 over 5. I'm going to leave it as a top heavy fraction. Let's leave it as 11 over 5. So 11 over 5 is equal to C. Which means that Y is equal to 10X to the power of a half plus 2 over 5 times X to the power of 5 over 2. And plus that all important C that we just worked out, which is 11 over 5. Right. If we have a look here at the mark scheme, uh, 10x to the power of a half plus 2 over 5x to the 5 over 2 plus 11 over 5. Perfect. Um, and you can just have a scan through that if you want. Pause the video if you need to read that. Um, quick look at the, what the examiner said uh, to see if we could see any important parts. Uh, the main problem was actually writing this um, in index form. So be careful of that. And um, a significant minority of candidates fail to include the integration constant, the constant of integration. Remember, you must include the constant of integration when it's an indefinite integral. So when we don't have any limits, don't forget that C.